so usually I have Darian starting this off, but I'm going to kick it off with, first I want to congratulate you because you're a part of this too, but we just hit a thousand subscribers, pretty sure I texted you this morning, early this morning, mm -hmm. like at 7, 7.30 or something, but uh, within a just about a three year span, we got a thousand subs, which I don't think is too bad for a channel that's just kind of doing its thing nothing we're not trying to blow it up right off the bat just to get it over with we're trying to make it worth our while make it good content not just shit right because a lot of channels I've noticed when they start that's all they do they just upload and upload and like yeah we upload a shit ton I think I we have 700 something videos on the channel but it's still something that we've worked towards everything and we've created it all. We haven't just stolen stuff and try to copy people. We do our own thing. Well, it's just something to be proud of, if you ask me in my humble opinion. Yeah, I'm, I'm proud of everything that we've pushed out there so far. I mean, yeah, we had some misses, of course, but everyone does. Right. But what I do is instead of some people, they hide the misses by canceling them you know, and deleting them, I leave them there. I just leave it on there, and if they spark up and become a hit, then I'll just continue it on. But if it's doing nothing now, I'm not going to keep forcing it out to make people watch. Right. Because I've seen some channels do that. They post content that no one cares about. They just keep doing it. <laughs> so I'm not, I don't want this to be one of those channels that does that. We'll post what we like, what's funny. And if it's serious, it's serious, but we'll post everything appropriately, not just waste time. Make it efficient, enjoyable. That's the way to go about it. If you ask me, I mean, I'm just an idiot who likes to talk, but... I'm just an idiot, so... <laughs> 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 but yes, yeah, so... It's, it's pretty <coughs> awesome that we hit that thousand subscriber mark. Um, I wish Amanda could be here with us to celebrate, but she's making us proud in the Air Force right now. So when she comes back in August, maybe we'll celebrate all together. Then we'll do something when she comes home. It'll Hopefully be fun. We'll have ten thousand by then. That'd be cool if we did. Oh shit! Imagine <laughs> <laughs> shit, nine thousand in a few months. Jesus, that'd be awesome. Well, at the rate it's grown the last two days. That's not unfeasible. Uh, that growth, honestly, I've never kept you guys updated. That's probably about like three weeks worth mm -hmm. of growth, two, three weeks. Because when, you know, we did that New Hampshire trip uh, like a couple weeks ago. We hit like seven or eight hundred while I was there. If I didn't update you guys because it was growing so quick, I didn't know if it was like bullshit, like someone was just doing shit. So I didn't want to tell anyone in case it was garbage. I had not know if it was a sub bot or something, so I didn't want to just get us all excited for nothing, but it's still growing at a decent rate, so I'm going to assume it's not a sub bot at this point. Shit, in the hour and a half I've been here, we've gained like 20 followers. Yeah, actually, good. And I don't have it open on the computer. But uh, I can check my phone, because when you got here, it was like 1,014, now it's 1,123. So it's, it's growing still, which is nice. Okay, so I've slightly miscalculated. It was nine. <laughs> but I digress. So it's still that's awesome that it's still growing. <clears throat> the views are ridiculous too. Just off that last podcast, it even though it only started getting these views like a couple days ago, but we uploaded that two weeks ago, that last one. And now it's starting to get a thousand plus hits on it. But we're hopefully we can figure out a way to put out more content and newer content in the new year. That's why I got this laptop so I could travel and do more. Hopefully be a little more efficient at stuff. Instead of just me being stuck here to do all the work, I can go somewhere. Right. <clears throat> now we just need a casting couch. No, we do not need a cast. We've gone over this. We don't need a casting couch. Unbelievable. Couch. My ideas are never taken seriously here. Well, that one's never going to be taken seriously here. <laughs> <yeah. laughs> 
You're the one that wanted a dildo as your doorknob in the office. That's not happening either. I don't recall. You don't recall that. You wanted that in the casting couch as your office. That was it. (laughs) I have no idea on these terms that you speak of, Michael. (laughs) Of course you don't. Yeah, because you know me, I'm always thinking of that stuff. (laughs) The one I just said, now we need a casting couch. Yeah, it's obviously it's me. Listen, would you like me to go through our text messages? About what? Well, you're always talking about dicks and dildos and stuff. Just yours. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Can't blame you there. But anyways. Uh, it's a great achievement to get, because even though a lot of channels can hit a thousand subscribers, I feel like it's just what we've done is a little different compared to what else I've seen. And I just enjoy it more because I'm doing it with all my friends. I'm not just... I'm not just doing my channel by myself. I'm doing this one as well, which I really enjoy doing. I enjoy both, obviously, but mine's kind of just turned into just like a I play by myself type thing while this one I get to hang out with my friends, do more. And just it's more enjoyable for me. Mine's almost stressful because I'm by myself and I got to make sure I'm funny by myself, which sometimes I'm not. I'm awkward. Can confirm. Yeah, but... Hey, it works, it works, because my channel is at 2,561 subs, so whatever I'm doing, it's working. Being awkward works, I guess. Depends. Yep. (laughs) It does. So, um, we'll go on now to... I don't want to say it's bigger news. It is for people that watch this show. And I just showed you a couple episodes of Attack on Titan, which about like 20, 30 episodes ago, I talked about my obsession of this show because it's when I found it and I binged like all, at the time, three seasons of it. Oh, look what you did. That's why I don't have nice things. (laughs) Yet. That's fair. That's why we can't have a casting couch. (laughs) That right there. (laughs) No, so, uh, one of the two episode finale of the Attack on Titan show uh, came out, I think it was last Saturday, something like that, or two Saturdays ago. And, uh, well, it's been on for a couple weeks. I'll say spoiler alert to be nice anyways. But uh, our dorky commander, Hanji, burned to a crisp to those colossal titans. The poor thing. And we saw about... I was sad. About 5,000 people get stomped. Mm-hmm. <laughs> a kid's head get crushed in. Yep. Which I'm surprised they... I shouldn't say I'm surprised in the book it's there, but I'm surprised they went that detailed in that animation. Like you saw his teeth, his teeth falling out when he's getting stepped on, which I, I didn't know. know they'd go that detailed with it. Obviously, <laughs> a book's different. He can't be that detailed. It's kind of hard to. But, uh, so... I know how it ends... Because I have read on, because I'm that impatient to wait until fall for the fucking show to end. So I did read on. So I know how it ends. I won't say how it ends, but I'll say how I think and I wished it ended. I still think that Aaron's going to get killed. There's no way they leave that psychopath alive to kill everybody. But either... They kill him, and everyone just has world peace because they realize they're not devils on the island like they say they are, even though everyone's a devil in this show at some point, from what I've witnessed. Or uh, what they'll do is... You little devil, you. <laughs> they'll act like they're peaceful with them, and then they'll just fucking annihilate them by like bombing them or something, or getting like a global military to wipe them out. Yep, they are cause- causing global warming. Yeah, they'll, they'll find some bullshit like that. <clears throat> but that's that's what I think the couple ways it should end and how I want it to end instead because I know how it ends. And the ending, honestly, to me, book-wise, isn't great, which is why I don't want it to end that way. But we'll, we'll see. We'll see what they do. The animes are usually a tad bit different than um, the mangas, so we'll see. But that's that's really all I got for that show. Uh, still my favorite show ever. 
but I showed you a couple episodes. You saw what it was like. Just a bunch of people getting eaten. <laughs> Pretty much all it was. Not even eaten the good way. No. Nope, not the fun way. <clears throat> Unbelievable. Yeah, it's brutal. <laughs> Just a little bit. I'd hate to go out the way some of those characters have. There was one of them I never showed. They have like five of those titans grabbing them ripping an arm off the leg one's biting the top of his head and they're all just pulling at him to eat him Jesus. <laughs> fucking ripping him apart so there, a lot of people have gotten brutal deaths in that show uh, yeah it's a traumatizing show they gave me trust issues with shows now with characters <laughs> if I like characters I'm afraid to like them because I don't know if they're going to die <laughs> they gave me so much trust issues I say it all the time this is the first anime I've really watched from like beginning to end. I'm not going to say I've watched Pokemon because there's way too many of those. I'm not watching that anymore. Watch the original stuff, not the new stuff. It's way too many to remember. But the first one I watched from beginning to end, I can almost remember every single episode inside and out. I've watched it so many fucking times now. It's basically how I am with Spongebob. No, I know you like that with Spongebob. I know that for sure. I uh, honestly haven't watched Spongebob in years, but I can basically name all the older episodes. <laughs> yeah, I've never really watched it. It's funny, like, you guys make the jokes and I get them because I know the memes and everything, mm -hmm. but if you tell me, if you say, hey, Mike, what episode is that from? Oh, it's from this meme. <laughs> it's from this meme. <laughs> That's all I can do I for you. I don't know. <laughs> Stop giving me these hard questions. <laughs> Like, my favorite one is when we're trying to figure out stuff. I always go, is mayonnaise an instrument? Like, I always <laughs> say that. I know that's Spongebob. Oh, beautiful. That's one of my favorite ones to use. <laughs> I use that one of my older videos. I think it was, like, one of my older ones playing GTA. All my friends They're trying to tell me stuff I need. <laughs> I was like, okay, so I need this. They're like, yep, okay, and this, yep. Uh, do I need mayonnaise? Like, no. I'm like, oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I figured it was a useful instrument. <laughs> I've yeah. been speckled looked. I made that joke once. Uh, my family, no one really watched Nickelodeon. We're always Cartoon Network more. But we're playing Guitar Hero, and I picked up the guitar, and I said, is mayonnaise an instrument? And everyone just looked at me, and I was like, oh, yeah, no one here gets that joke. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny to me. <laughs> Will always be funny. What the fuck are you doing with your hair? Just fucking around with it. You look like an emo douchebag. <laughs> 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 Not being brutally honest, I'm just telling you what you look like. <laughs> gotta get the neck crank going. Yeah, are you doing the, the Bebo now? <laughs> I'm a believer. Oh, speaking of that, did you see there was a hoax like a couple of days ago? They're saying he died in a car crash. Justin Bieber? Yeah. Didn't really happen. It was a hoax. Right. People were like, oh, he died in a car crash. I saw Alyssa's mom post that and was like, dude, it's bullshit. Don't believe it. <laughs> it was yeah. funny. Just random. Out of every person, the most random person ever to say died in a car crash. Serious thing. Your face will probably no one recognize my face. Of course not. You got your hair covering your eyes. I look fucking hot. I like it. You looked better before. There you go. <laughs> I'd fuck me. <laughs> ten out of ten. Would suggest. Do you ever see that bit on Family Guy with Chris? Which one? Yeah, I'd fuck me one. No. He goes up to the camera. He puts lipstick on. He goes, I'd fuck me so hot. He tucks his junk in between his legs. <laughs> oh. He's dancing naked. And Peter walks in. Hey, Chris, what's that behind your leg? <laughs> and he runs away. <laughs> That's fucking beautiful. Yeah, I just remember that. I love that one. They played at the uh, the gymnasium at the school and embarrass them. Oh, man, that one was so funny. Then one I watched, I don't know how familiar I was South Park, like the older South Parks, like probably from like five years ago, ten years ago ish. Yeah, you remember the song "Cow's Mom's a Bitch"? Yeah, <laughs> I was jamming out to that yesterday while I was in here. Jesus, I was just sitting here dancing, and I, I replayed it like eight times sitting at my desk. 
I'm like, I'm being productive. I'm jamming out the Cosmos, a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Most random song to be jamming out to while working, but that's the one I picked. Right. It always goes from different things. Sometimes I'll just be listening to, like, wrestlers' theme songs. I'll be listening to, like, <laughs> Lonely Island sometimes. <laughs> I'm trying to work. <laughs> it just depends on my mood. Once in a while, like, at work, my favorite thing to do is I have What Does the Fox Say on my phone. Yeah. And when I pull up to job sites with people that I never pulled before, I crank it when I pull up to the job site. And when I pull up, I'm bobbing my head with it, so it's not, I'm looking like I really love this song. Oh, shit, yeah. Those are the type of parodies I'd love to do. Song parodies. Those are all fun. Oh, yeah. Like, I don't need to do stuff like Weird Al. Like, that's hard to do what he does. But he does a great job. I could never do it. But, like, stuff like Lonely Island. Like, that stuff, I feel like, is so easy to make music. Like, going jizz in my pants. That's a banger. <laughs> I love that song. That one, Dick in a Box, is great. <laughs> the songs are all pretty damn good. I like a Throw It On The Ground. <laughs> that's a good one, too. Or Like a Boss. That's a good classic. <laughs> yeah. Yes, it is. He turns into a jet and bombs the Russians. <laughs> Does he get any sense? Then he crashes into the sun. Yeah, yeah of course it's a normal day. <laughs> what else would you do? Shit. They gotta be on drugs when they make that music. There's no oh, way. Yeah. Or they're drunk as fuck and they write the lyrics. Like, I'm on a boat. There's no way a sober guy thought of that song. <laughs> and they have tea pain in it. You are not sober. To think of any of that. No. You're not sober to think of T Pain to begin with. He wasn't popular when he was popular. Oh, I thought his stuff was good. No, it was. He actually sings real good without the auto tone. You ever hear yeah, him? Yeah. He's got a real He's good a great voice. voice. Yeah, he was on that uh Mass Singer show like a couple years ago. And I heard this singing, I'm like, man, I've I've heard this before yet. Do you think you're singing um Oh shit. Oh, American Woman, Lenny Kravitz. Uh-huh. He was singing that, and I'm like, I've heard this before. I was like, but it ain't, it's not the Lenny Kravitz I was thinking. I was like, I've heard the the exact voice sing it before. So I started looking it up, and I saw it was T-Pain singing. So I clicked on it, and I was listening, and I listened to the show. I was like, shit, that's T-Pain. It was really good. The worst one on that was Gronk. <laughs> he was awesome because he's entertaining to watch. Yeah. But Duke can't sing, obviously. No. But, like, you were singing, like, I'm too sexy, and you were singing all that type of stuff, and you was just dancing like an idiot the whole time. <laughs> he was funny as hell, but he was no good singer. I had fun watching him. It's like one beastie mode from Fairly Odd Parents. I'm too sexy for my sexy. <laughs> too sexy for my sexy. <laughs> oh, I couldn't stop laughing. The first time he started doing that, he started going to the crowd, and he's, like, dancing with girls. I'm like, dude, they don't know who you are. You're just a weirdo in a costume. <laughs> Oh, like it's funny and all, but you're freaking everyone out. <laughs> well, speaking of Gronk with Patriots, Patriots news football wise, the great Devin McCourty's officially gone. The dude's played since 2010. He hasn't taken less than 95 percent of our defensive snaps, so he pretty much always played. And uh, that defense could be hurting without him. He's one of the best. Safeties in the league, probably in history. Corner went safety and never looked back. Pretty damn good. I'm gonna miss him on the team. He's one of my favorites. Oh yeah. Good old D Mac. Now <laughs> we're gonna get to the trade that really aggravated me. <laughs> oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> the Chicago Bears did a what I call a Madden trade. They traded their first overall pick to the Panthers, which could help the Panthers. They need the help. But the Bears got DJ Moore, okay? The ninth overall pick in this draft, okay? A second-round pick this year, all right? A first-round pick next year, okay? And a second round in 2025? Don't They know they got to... If they want to win something, they got to win now, right? Not later. <laughs> 
They ain't gonna get any better if you're doing stupid shit like this now. This is a trade that I would do a Madden and be like, yeah, there's no way they'll take this. And they accept it and I laugh. That's what this is right here. The team's already struggling as it is. Not because the whole team sucks. It's because they're very messy with play calls. The play calls are really rough. But, uh... I really can't believe that's the fucking trade they made. It's a trade that... If you told me this, like, through text, and didn't I didn't see it on NFL... I would have called you a fucking idiot if you said that to me. I mean, you would, I would never. I'm like, you can't get me to believe that. That's stupid. But it it happened. It, it, somehow it happened. One of the worst trades I've probably seen. I mean, for people that like the teams, they might like <clears throat> what they did. I personally hate it. <laughs> I would not be happy for that trade. No, not in the slightest. If you told me the patch did that trade, I'd. I'd probably just not be a Pats fan for the offseason. I'd be so mad. Mm -hmm. I mean, Bill Belichick's not that stupid. Well, the drafts he likes. He likes having the late round picks. He doesn't like the early picks. As we've seen. Yeah. Well, look at our fucking rosters throughout the years. Our best players were in the later rounds. The first round players always are too dumb. Can't figure it out. I don't know how he does it. But it, it happens every time. <laughs> Somehow manages to do that. It's insane. Mm -hmm. Just goes to show you what being a good coach will do. Even if you are a dickhead. Yeah, we had a guy, he just left the Pats. His name was uh, Isaiah Wynn. He was a lineman. He said he was happy to be gone because now he feels free. But all the Pats fans are like, we couldn't wait for you to leave because you sucked. <laughs> so it's like... <laughs> He's getting no sympathy from us. We couldn't wait for him to leave. Right. He was always okay at best. He, he was never anything amazing. So when I saw that he got released, I was like, good. We got some cap room. <laughs> now we got one one less fucking junky lineman on the team. But we're going to now shift gears from stupid football to stupid missiles. Which is not on my notes what it says, but it, that's what I'm going to say because I, I don't want to get yelled at by the internet. I will anyways. So North Korea threatened us if we shoot down their test missiles. We're not going to shoot missiles that go five feet in the air. Right. I mean, they're going to shoot their own missiles down by accident. Listen, <laughs> let's be honest here. If we're going to get political real quick. Go for it. It'd be fucking stupid for them to try to attack us. Drunk Americans get so bored that they attack, attack each other. But if an outside source comes and tries to attack us, you're going to have the 36 million drunk Americans with firearms attacking you. Yeah. Fuck the military. We don't need them. No. We do. But you get, I know, you I get know, the point. I know that. what you're saying. Yeah, I know what you're saying. Let the cavalry win. The military will come in as backup. But what they don't understand is. Do you realize what <laughs> airspace that has to fly over just to hit us oh, yeah. anyways? We don't have to do nothing. Right. They just shoot it over one of those places wrong, and they're getting attacked by them, and we're just sitting on the couch watching laughing at them. Right. <laughs> so for them to even threaten us without doing anything is stupid enough. Because mm -hmm. they got all of the UK already now on standby, because they're like, well, I don't know what these fucking morons are doing. Are they shooting up their paper mache missiles, or you know, are they sending their 1930s plane in the air? What are they doing? Well, never mind the UK; <laughs> they got all of NATO in their ass now. Well, yeah, that too. You you really gotta fuck up to piss off NATO that bad. Yeah, I know. And Ukraine is becoming a part of NATO, or they're trying to. Yeah, they're trying to. So they'll have their back, anyways. Yeah. <clears throat> that whole thing's a mess over there still. Yeah. It's, it's going crazy. on for no reason still. No fucking reason. Also, I must add one quick thing. Go ahead. One one nice part about the United States is not only the drunk Americans with firearms, it is basically a geological fortress. Yeah. You got the Rockies and every other fucking mountain range around here. That makes it so hard for missiles to get through here. Crap, you get California, but you get rid of them anyways. They're, they almost don't count anymore. <laughs> Whenever I hear, like, 
like what some of the parts of the U.S. that they target. Like I see them pick Boston and stuff. I'm like, why are you picking here? What are you What are you gonna get out of attacking here? Right. All you gotta do is sink about 18 million Dunkin' Donuts, and that's about it. <laughs> <laughs> that's all you gotta do. You can put Dunkin' Donuts out of business, then you get nothing, no advantage over that. Right. Yeah, you got the Appalachian Mountains on the East Coast. Yeah. That's a fucking fortress wall. You get the Rockies and the Sierra Nevada. They're not as big as the Rockies, but I digress. It's still a fucking mountain range. It's yeah. half as tall as the country is. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, I'm no expert. I don't either. I'm just an idiot. But facts are facts. Yeah. But I know tech from any other country would scare me, but North Korea isn't scaring me for any reason no. whatsoever. They got no right to even threaten any country because they are laughable with their threats. I think we should solve the problem and fucking level them, but hey. Well, the problem is we have too many allies around to level them. Either that or just get a douchebag around the place. I say just get a bunch of bases built surrounding North Korea. Fucking blitz. Just at all sides. Just fucking all run in. It'll, it'll be done like that. Mm-hmm. It will not last five seconds. No. Get all They'd the innocent, fucked. poor people out of there and slaughter the rest. Then tell South Korea, all right, you got it all back now. And I've they said go, the same thing for years about Afghanistan and Iraq. Oh, yeah, so, just swarm. They ain't going to stop you. Everybody that's innocent has nothing to do with anything. Yeah. Get them the fuck out. They just level the place. Yeah. Restart. Clearly, it's no good to begin with, but now I'm going to get all sorts of hate. Yeah. Just watch. I know. But anyone with a half a fucking brain would agree with me. That's the thing. If we didn't have so many allies around North Korea, I would say just drop a nuke. Just level them. Just do what we did to Japan years no ago when they threatened us. Just say, okay, here you go. And just drop a present for them at the front door. But with South Korea being a real good ally of ours, literally next door, yeah. can't get any closer, there's, there's no reason to do that because you're going to fuck them over too. Mm-hmm. So that's the only part that blows. Because if South Korea wasn't that much of an ally, I would say just drop it. But you can't just do that to them. Right. Then you gotta fuck over South Korea and I don't know the map off the top of my head, but every other country over there, which is innocent compared to North Korea. I mean, it, you don't have to be a rocket scientist to know that one. Let's see. I'll look up uh, the world map now to see what else is around there. Uh, see if it's even worth fucking. <laughs> my idea is even worth doing. Let's see. Where is everything? Oh, yeah, you can't nuke North Korea, because right next to China. That'd be a fucking nightmare if we did that. <laughs> That'd be the stupidest oh, yeah. move we ever did. All you gotta do is put, like, the Navy all around North Korea, around the ocean, tell China to line up against North Korea, have our forces that are in South Korea, because I know we have some there, and the South Korea military, and just blitz from all sides... And then North and South Korea just becomes Korea instead. <laughs> and then it's like back to how it was years ago. No, I was just going to say that. It's back to how it was. And it was a lot peace- more peaceful that way. It's always more peaceful when you don't have some tyrannical dickhead running the place. Notice how America's a mess at the moment? Ooh. What else is not a low blow? Let's go, Brandon. Yeah, America's been a mess since that guy got in there. He said something the other day. I couldn't fucking stop laughing. Like, I got two words. Oh, no, the one about the... <laughs> I'm not dumb. <laughs> I'm a white boy, but I'm not dumb. It's something stupid like that. I'm like, that's oh, the stupidest thing I've ever heard. <laughs> I was like, you just proved that you're dumb. Who says that? He goes, I may be a white boy, but I'm not dumb. That's what it was. I was like, the fuck does that even mean? <laughs> that's racist. I'm offended. Because <laughs> I'm white and stupid. You ain't poor unless you're black. <laughs> That's pretty much what he was yeah, trying that, to that say. That was a personal favorite of mine from him. Fucking idiot. I still don't get why people thought he was the best. I get it. That's because the orange man has mean tweets. Well, then, <laughs> he ain't afraid to attack people either, which I like and don't like. <laughs> but I like that we had a set of balls in the office. Because if Trump was still there, stuff in Ukraine, you would wipe it off the history books. It wouldn't happen. Mm-hmm. 
Everyone can try to tell me all they want that it's going to happen anyways. It wasn't. Not while Putin was sucking Trump's dong. It wasn't going to happen. <laughs> yeah, dude, the way the, the world's set up, man. You really could easily... Well, besides the Russia attacking Ukraine, you can't do my idea to blitz because you'd be fucked if you did that. But, like, for North Korea or, like, we're talking about with Afghanistan and stuff, you could easily surround it and attack, and you would you could just wipe it off the face of the earth and have all those other countries just take some part of that land and it's theirs. And I'm not saying just kill people. That's not what I'm saying. Before people assume I'm saying just kill everyone. No, get the innocent people out of there because there's no need for them. Like all the poor kids that are dying in Ukraine right now is pissing me off. Poor kids don't know what's going on. They're just getting blown the fuck up. Stupid. And just looking at this map alone, there's so many other issues that we could try to solve before we have like these stupid ass wars. Actually, look at the map now. How the fuck would North Korea hit us? What, they gotta attack Alaska? Oh, wow. Sorry for the 18 people that live in Alaska. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, what the hell are they gonna hit from over there? All right, maybe Hawaii? And that's probably the smallest island? Like, the... There's, like, no way they'd hit anything useful. Especially when they say they want to hit, like, New England, part of America. You ain't going to hit it. They have to fly over China, fly over Afghan and Iran and Iraq, fly over a part of Russia and the Ukraine, Poland, France, Germany. Like, come on. What, you think none of them are going to see that and fucking kill you first? <laughs> I mean, you go right in their airspace is stupid. Or, then going the other way, they got to fly over Japan. Yeah, like, Japan's going to take that nicely. Right. <laughs> They're going to send their samurais over there and cut them up. <laughs> that, that was racist, but it's funny. <laughs> Unbelievable. You're fucking canceled. <laughs> yeah, I know. Now. I probably am. All because of swords. But it just doesn't make sense to me. Like, this whole... It would be so much easier. Everyone just work together. Why is everyone going to be dickheads? Especially right now, Russia. <clears throat> Putin's a fucking moron to begin with. Mostly because he just wanted fucking... What the hell was that damn nuclear plant? Chernobyl back. Right. Why do you want that back? Who wants that back? No one. You can have it. You don't have to attack for it. Just take it back. No, no one wants it. Ukraine's sad and stuck with it. For the last, what, 50, 60 years? Yeah. What fucking good is it going to do? No, it's fucking useless. I don't know why he wants it back so bad. I'm like, dude, no. <laughs> or he's just kind of a back, but yeah, but you're stupid. <laughs> what, you think of something? 37 years. No, but still, but why do you? Why would you want that back? Right, it's useless and uninhabitable. The only thing that people have speculated, which I could believe, is that they had data and stuff still down there that they didn't grab when it melted down, as like secrets or weapons. That I understand, because why would you be this hostile for Chernobyl? Right. They have something hidden down there, or in there, or whatever. However, they have it set up. They have something that they want no one to have, mm. and they're probably coming now because it's more, not as lethal as it was <laughs> to get in yeah, there. It's, it's definitely not as bad. No, but the they way... Keep, they offer tours of it. Did you know that? Yeah, I know that. Yeah, like the movie. <laughs> I hope it's not like the movie, though. <laughs> I think it'd be fucking cool. I'd love to see it. It'd be cool. But after seeing that movie, I don't want to do it. Because <laughs> I'm a chicken. <laughs> I'll just admit it. As long as you can promise me I'll be protected. As long as I'm allowed to bring a gun, I'm fine. <laughs> That's Br fair. Bring a gun and drive a tank, I'm good. I'll go. <laughs> Three dick, four legs, zombies. With seven hands. Well, the way they were in that movie, they are fucking tanks, too. They were fucking... 
They were punching them. It was doing nothing to them. Yeah. So I, as long as I can go there with an M16, a fucking RPG, and a tank, I'll go. <laughs> I'll feel safe. <laughs> One place that's also on my bucket list to go is Centralia, Pennsylvania. The Burning Town. Oh, gotcha. I'll say, I know the name. I couldn't think of why. That That's why the Burning Town. Coal mines in the city that lit on fire. Yeah, that'd be cool to see. There's a lot I want to see. We can do a traveling podcast. That'd be fun to do. At some point, like, my bucket list, just because of sports-wise, I want to go to see every NFL stadium in person. That'd That'd be be fun to see. I've only seen two. Obviously, Gillette a fucking million times. I've been been to and seen MetLife Stadium in New Jersey. That's pretty cool. Nice. That's a cool one. It's very old school, but it's cool because it's modern at the same time. Because, mm-hmm. you know, it's just a big dome. Well, not dome. It's just a big fucking traditional stadium. But there's escalators to go up. There's not stairs anymore. I'm not so sure. they just go up escalators. Yeah, so like they modernized it. Huh. It's cool. We went there to see um, BTS a couple of years ago. It was pretty cool oh, to see. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. That's right. I and remember why I was having a good time laughing because there's only one Super Bowl banner for the Jets and it's from like Super Bowl 2. <laughs> so I, I was laughing being a dickhead. <laughs> it's from like Super Bowl 2. It is. Super Bowl 2 or 3. There's the one Super Bowl they won. I looked over and I saw it and I said, hey dad, look, just one <laughs> from 1942. <laughs> the same one Great Nana was born. <laughs> they were still using leather helmets back then. Oh, fuck. When I saw it, I couldn't stop laughing. It was like fucking one banner. What a joke. <laughs> and their banner, it looks like fucking, it's like, it looks like it's this wide. It's obviously not. But when you're looking at it from where I was sitting, it was like this wide. It's probably like this long. I'm looking at it like, that's fucking disappointing compared to the ones we have. We got cool ones. Oh, shit, I couldn't stop laughing. I, I was such a dick when I saw that. And I see people with, like, Giants and Jets jerseys. I'm like, man, it must suck to be you. And then Brady left two years later. I'm like, oh, it sucks. <laughs> sucks to be sucks me. Sucks to be us. <laughs> sucks to be me. <laughs> oh, God. I wonder what it's like being a team fan that doesn't have six rings. I'd say being a fan for a team that doesn't have six rings. I have to ask the Cleveland Browns fan. <laughs> or the fucking Jets fan. <laughs> <laughs> I can ask the Cowboys. Yes. They don't have six. They got five. They don't have six. And theirs came in the 80s and they don't stop talking about it. <laughs> We won so many times in the 80s. Yeah, how about 2000s? No, I said 80s. <laughs> no, I said 80s. <laughs> Idiot. <laughs> Don't you listen? I said, you ever see the guy that was doing the hurdles in the Olympics? He was all cocky and stuff, and the first hurdle he tripped over. You know that one? <laughs> oh, hold on. I'm getting a phone call. Hold on. Hello. Hello. Yep. Coming up. Uh, or, Darren, you going? Yeah. Okay, Darren's coming up to get you. Did I lock it on you? I think so. Or did you lock it on yourself? Well, I'm going to continue what I was saying, so <laughs> that that bit I'm, I was talking about, the guy trips over the hurdles, but they say it's the Dallas Cowboys in the playoffs. That's, uh, that's where I was going with it. And now i got to wait for these guys to come back. Of course I am. I uh, I have my face pressed up against the window like <laughs> <laughs> he's like the one time I don't have a fucking camera. <laughs> oh, 
Your food was in the kitchen, okay. by the way. Okay. Yeah, a little thirsty, that champ. <laughs> no, it's the rest of my wine. I don't have that much left. So that means don't drink all my fucking water. <laughs> Do you have? Like, it. Wall nugget section I could steal, wall or nugget. can I just plug it into your computer or something? Yeah. To charge it. Yep. And not Grigio. He's on this side. He's on the other side. <laughs> So, anyways, like I, I was saying, um, that meme of that guy tripping over the hurdles, I told everyone on the podcast, I'll tell you, you know, he trips over a, a, the first hurdle, and he's all cocky, he's like, yeah, I'm number one, and it says this is the Dallas Cowboys in the playoffs, <laughs> they're all cocky, they fuck up right away. <laughs> Okay. I'm pretty, Hell yeah. <laughs> yeah, I was pretty sure I heard what you thought. I, yeah. I had a look and Derek horny was yeah, for Chinese food. Yeah, yep. <laughs> yeah, horny for Chinese food. What was it last time? Fucking. I don't know how a chair works. Sorry. Other side. It's not one side. It's the other. Oh, it just takes a while. Got it. I say I spent a lot on it, so I know it works. Yeah, I only got the report no, on the side. <laughs> I just learned about those type C thingies. I'm not sure. I haven't really. They test lightning bolts, so maybe. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. I haven't really done too much with this laptop yet. Ah, oh, nice. Let me know when you're here so I can close the door on you, you fucking dick. <laughs> 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 Douchebag. <laughs> Is that fucking thing on? Of course it is. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> so you is were... it going to pick up me saying I'm horny for Chinese food in the oh, background? No, I don't know if pick you up that far. Oh, well, you've good. said it twice in here so far, ah, so okay. they definitely heard you. <laughs> You're welcome. Get it? Come. Ha. Ha, 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 ha. flapper. I don't get it. <laughs> you guys get to hear me chew. Isn't that exciting? Because you've been drinking that Pinot Grigio. I haven't. I haven't had any alcohol yet. Oh. <laughs> I'm just fucked up. <laughs> I'm just, <laughs> <laughs> I'm just uh, fucked up. Yep. Uh, do, 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 do. So you guys talking about it? So we uh we're bashing North Korea because they threatened the U S. If we shoot down their test missiles, they'll attack us. But I mean, it's gotta go more than five feet to even be a threat, and it won't. So I mean, <laughs> test missile. <laughs> yeah. In like SpongeBob, whatever the hell. <laughs> Is that? Uh, Corey hit a thousand subscribers today, so we're talking about that. Oh, hey. Some football stuff, because some news happened in football. <laughs> did you just hear that? Yeah, I did. Sound like a fucking Get the fart. fuck away from my ragoons. Hey, I got you a whole thing of ragoons for you. So you got some yeah. ragoons, huh? Yeah, apparently you already got mm. shit. Oh, damn, mm. Riley. Mm -hmm. yeah. You made me ink. Oh, <laughs> 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 That's what I'm right. The microphone's picking it all up. Just open it. <laughs> Unbelievable. So she, she's like that person at the movie theater opening the candy. It's so <laughs> difficult. I'll be there in a minute. Yeah. You know. It'll be open in a second. It was so difficult. Dude, Alyssa's that person in the theater, though. Yeah, that. I think she's being quiet. No, yeah. <laughs> no, I'll tell her. Hey, so before it starts, you know, don't just open it early. Okay, I will. Then ten minutes in the movie here. And I look at her and she goes, "What?" <laughs> I'm like, "What do you mean, what?" <laughs> You're being look, obnoxious again. The whole theater can hear you. <laughs> <laughs> well, what she's good at doing too is, well, you guys know how much of a professional whisperer she is. Right. When she doesn't know what's going on in the movie, she'll look at me. And, hey. And I don't even know what's going on in the movie yet because I haven't seen it yet. Like a normal fucking person. She goes, what's going on? I'm like, I don't fucking know. <laughs> I'm trying to figure it out too. No. <laughs> or she'll be like, who's that? And she'll say that loud. I'm like, dude, shut up. <laughs> like no one tells who's that in the theater. She'll be trying to figure out <laughs> who characters are. And she'll, she asks me, like, oh yeah, you know, I know that the movie that just came out yesterday. I know everyone in this movie already. Right. Does it to me all the time. Get some ASMR going for people. Mm. I don't like eating rangoons with your eyes closed. <laughs> it's not. Full it's not. Zen. It's not three a.m. It doesn't matter. 
still pulls out a moment. Let me tell you the best way to eat crab rangoons. Piss drunk at 3 a.m., butt naked in the kitchen. <laughs> Fresh out the fridge. You know when it's not a good time to eat rangoons? Right after, well, the day after you get your tongue pierced. Did Horrible you? fucking idea. You, uh... Yeah, I got a new one in. Oh, yeah. so you didn't yep. stuff your hole again? I did. I did. <laughs> <laughs> nope. I'm stuffing my other hole now. <laughs> that wasn't that funny. What's funny is you reacted like that to it. You made him nervous. <laughs> yeah, I know. No, this, this dude was about work. to fall asleep like 10 minutes ago. You showed up. I called it. I said, Megan, get to you. You'll wake up. Oh, no, oh, I'm tired. <laughs> And now I got super it was my act- face pressed against the glass with my <laughs> I got, teeth and everything. I got super active Todd over here now. <laughs> Welcome. Dude, I, I found my I favorite said. word in French. It's leet. It's en retard in French. It's leet. It's my favorite word to use. Late? Yeah. That's amazing. En retard. En retard means late. I'm not, I pronou- am all- I'm not, I'm not I pronouncing am it right. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> Always. I'm not Clearly. pronouncing it right, but when you type it out, it's E N R E T A R D. So it's N Retard. <laughs> I'm gonna really see gonna I can... put this in the glass, but I'm gonna try to there. get this to. Oh, <laughs> You're the only one. Ja. See? <laughs> N Retard. Oh, ja. oh, That's what I said. N Retard. <laughs> <laughs> I love your Boston accent with it. Well, yeah, of course I'm gonna keep it. Well, I'm gonna fake my accent. Sorry, I'll say. You know, appropriately. Yeah. And retard. No, fuck the R's. We don't like them anyway. Everyone always, anyone in any video I'm in always mm-hmm. talks about my accent. I got mad at one guy because I love your New York accent. I said, you motherfucker, don't say that to me. You Yankee fuck. I was like, hey kid, that's fucking offensive. I'm going to go to hey Dunks guy. and I'm going to kick your ass. Hey guy, shut me down. I got so mad. No, where are you from? Like New York or something? Like, hey, don't fuck around with that shit. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's seriously only eight o'clock, huh? Mm-hmm. Why has this been the longest day ever? I have no idea. I got out of the shower and I was like, "Fuck, <laughs> I have to drive." <laughs> <laughs> oh, I know why. It's probably because next week we'll be driving to work in the fucking dark again. Yeah, I'm not looking forward to that. Uh, uh, I've been enjoying being able to see. <laughs> I still can't. <laughs> Actually, I can't even see because three quarters of my ride, the sun is blatantly in my eye of balls. It's like driving on like Route Six down the Cape. Awful. You're always like driving mm-hmm. face into the sun. Yeah. No, well, actually, driving down fucking Twenty Eight in Middleborough. Same mm. deal. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, we don't get moving that uh, that early over at, you know, g Mess here. <laughs> Northeast Trucking Services. Northeast? We get to, like, plumped in for, like, nine. Cause it's, a breakfast. it's a 45-minute ride, though. What are you, the railroad? <laughs> we might have quarters to fucking 815 some days. Unlike today, I left at 7.06 because I had to go piss in a cup. <laughs> so, it almost looks like a, a seahorse with a penis. Yes. <laughs> See it? <laughs> <laughs> this is my best friend, guys. Either that or it's a dinosaur with his arm up like, yeah. yeah I'm going to go with the seahorse with a penis. Yeah, that too. I'm going to go with the seahorse with a penis. <laughs> That's pretty cool. I'm That's pretty pecker. cool. Me this is pecker. Megan. This is what I've been putting up with for 15 years. Uh, she's been on before. This ain't her oh, first yeah. time. I ate the pecker first. <laughs> what a surprise, you whore. <laughs> well, for, for Chinese food? Damn right. No, you never use your teeth. <laughs> Don't use the teeth. <laughs> My bad. I was hungry. I was hungry. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like a piece of raw meat. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, it's like a hot dog. <laughs> Brings it. <laughs> what? Good. What was that? <laughs> Brings a new meaning to throat missile. <laughs> <laughs> I 
I don't know what you, that noise you made the first time was. <laughs> <laughs> he sounded like that TikTok, the dog one's like dry even. <laughs> That's what he sounded like oh, he was doing. Man. I didn't even know humans could make that noise till now. <laughs> he had a throat missile. <laughs> yeah. Ain't the first time. It ain't gonna be the last. Well, yeah, because you're still here. <laughs> that noise was me trying to speak and laugh at the same time and not shit my pants. <laughs> Shit my pants. Just keep adding stuff onto it. <laughs> That's me trying to laugh, shit my pants, sneeze, cough, burp. <laughs> and scratch my fresh tattoo at the same time. <laughs> While peeing in a cup. Yeah. Yes. Eating yeah. crab rangoons with my level of teeth. Yep. Titled. <laughs> what? Titled. Right now. Hold on, I'm gonna type it right here. What'd you say? What'd you say? With my, what was it? Eating, eating rangoons with my butthole's teeth. <laughs> well, I can't put butthole in the title. I'll Beetle. get taken down. Beetle. I don't even know I can do that. With my hole? Yeah, there you go. You can do that. <laughs> with my hole's teeth. <laughs> so, with, my, with my hole's tooths. So this is a very common thing that I've seen. I really type tooths. Oops. What did you say? Huh? Toofs? Yeah, I typed in toofs. <laughs> this is a really common thing I've seen on podcasts. Is they'll say some funny ass shit. Say, title it. That's what I try to do. Some, oh, yeah. I usually forget. I, I didn't know you guys didn't have a title yet. Usually it's the first fucking word that comes out of anyone's mouth is a title. Uh, not us. We always try to find something funny throughout. I think we have discussed this quite a few times. Yeah, we've had this a couple times. We try to get something <clears throat> funny in there. Ours last time was a bottle of dum. Yes. Oh, I like that. Yeah, that was us too. <laughs> that makes sense. Yep. Thanks. Big bottle. Big bottle. Uh, about that size. <laughs> not that. That's ab- No. Absolutely not. Horrendous. You can fit that in your hole. <laughs> well said. <laughs> going on my hole today. Not, <laughs> but tomorrow. <laughs> not yet, anyways. <laughs> nope. Tomorrow's like today. It's still a bad idea. <laughs> <clears throat> I've been having stomach issues, I guess you could say. You know what's going to be funny? I'm going to look at my laptop tomorrow and be like, eating ragoons with my hole's teeth. <laughs> 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 I'm like, why the fuck is this on my computer? <laughs> oh, man. I'm gonna completely forget. I'm just seeing me. What a fucking weirdo. <laughs> fucking losers. I can save it as eating Rangoons with my hole. <laughs> I'm gonna save it that way because I don't know what it is. <laughs> Look for a document eating Rangoons with my hole. <laughs> <laughs> so, how did you enjoy when I said I wanted PFR? Oh, dude, I was telling him. I literally sat there and did one of these. I looked at it. I was staring at the text. What? PFR. So I end up going on the menu, and I'm like, PFR. Oh, fuck. (laughs) And then I I texted you. I realized I'm fucking retarded, and that's what it is. So it's funny, because I read the text messages to Angelo. And he's literally, as I'm like, oh, yeah, I said I wanted this, you know, crab ragoon, chicken finger, and PFR. And he, all you hear in the background is, PFR. <laughs> so he had the same thought. And he's like, oh, okay. And I'm like, so that's exactly what I was getting at. I was going to see if you knew what PFR was. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it took me a minute. Well, it took me a few minutes. I just really did not want to spell out pork fried rice. <laughs> it is all yeah, well, I'm trying to operate a goddamn skitter in the middle of the woods. Oh, yep. get over it. You'd be all right. I'm sorry. Thir- no, then I ran, o- ran out of gas. Slot like yeah. international. <laughs> Thirteen letter yeah. shit spreader. Yeah, I was staring at it. I was like, what the fuck is that? Because what threw me off, too, is because he said with duck sauce combo. So I was like, is that something that I don't know about? <laughs> Which, that comes with everything when you order Chinese food. Duck sauce just shows up. Oh, that's yeah. beautiful. I, I love duck sauce. Not all places. If sometimes if you don't specify it, fuckers don't give it to you. And then your meal's ruined. Yeah, this place that's literally right around the corner from here, it, it comes with every time you order. Been there. It's called talent. You are not that coordinated. <laughs> no, don't even try to bullshit. <laughs> I watched you bowl. 
I beat you. Okay. What's your fucking point? No. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, I suck too. I was having a bad day. <laughs> oh, okay. That's what it's called, huh? Oh, my God. The race almost left the chat. Listen, in we bowling... I'm, I've right never again. heard you say, left the chat. I didn't mean to cut you off. But that's, no, no worries. That's way out of you. Like, uh, um, out, of, out, of, out of your regime of words. Yeah. What the fuck? It sounded good. So that, feel that's like, like my lingo with mm-hmm. gaming and stuff. That's not yours. <laughs> Gay men? Nice. Yep. <laughs> Gay men lingo. <laughs> hey, you know it. <laughs> Where's the invite? <laughs> No. Game in. Hey, you've <laughs> always had it. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Sign me up. Yeah, it just threw me off hearing you say that. I was like, oh, what yeah. the fuck? <laughs> All right, I wish I could remember what I was saying. Wee bowling. Oh, yes. I have, I have a score of nice. 289 or 300 in wee bowling. At my parents' house. I think you've seen it before in the garage. They ha- We have it set up <laughs> the Wii. We have fun doing that once in a while. That's fun. Why, point, yeah. why did we never... I'd get all jacked up on Mountain Dew and do that. Oh. We were usually doing like the um What the hell was the fucking Yeah. Fibbage. <laughs> yes, thank you. <laughs> See, you understand what this is. You get it. No, but I know what game you're no. talking about. Yeah, exactly. Because yeah. Alex is trying to have it so we could play it while we're up in New Hampshire. Yes. But yeah, it was, it was a trap though, because I I signed it there's about three hundred accounts on that Xbox and mm. people just didn't know you couldn't sign out. So I could easily just sign into people's accounts that buying shit if I wanted to. I didn't, obviously. I oh, wanted to. Oh, even with like, like you don't need the password? It's just saved? On most of them. It depends on how your settings are. Like mine, on my Xbox, I switch between the two accounts I have on there. I can just mm. switch without typing anything. Oh. So there's, if they're set up like mine, I could just click and signed in and don't want how I want. I could have no deleted shit. their stuff. I could have <laughs> bought shit. He <laughs> jokes on you. But yeah, because like, they had Fibbage on them. Like, oh, sweet. Jesus. Sorry. <laughs> what the fuck was that? that? A funny Facebook video. It's also going to be really close to the microphone. <laughs> oh, it's going to be loud as fuck. My dearest apologies. Now all of our headphone users are dead. Great. The five people that listen to us are dead. <laughs> Son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I got to start all over again. <laughs> Could have swore that I turned my volume down. I think you turned it up. It is, it is currently full blast. No. <laughs> Other down. <laughs> I don't know how that happened. I honestly didn't turn it down. <laughs> Was it when you were in the bathroom? Did you turn it up? When you were in there? Maybe you haven't turned it down since? Could be, but I thought I turned it down. Yeah, you couldn't hear it over his ass. <laughs> he turned it up. <laughs> <clears throat> I don't know. I don't know. Well, good time. I don't know. This is really coming together. Thanks. Yeah, I only have a couple movies. Yeah, just just, just a tad. Nothing like my mother's collection. No, 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 no. Mine will get there. <laughs> oh, yeah. Mine's already a fraction of the way there. I, I think I have I have an app on my phone that I actually scan in the barcodes. I can see what movies I own. Oh, so you have like your own little library. Yeah. I have. Once library. it loads. I haven't loaded up since we got here. It's going to take a long time here. I have 231. Oh, shit. Yep. I have Land Before Time. <clears throat> VHS. I'm, I'm not jealous of that whatsoever. <laughs> well, you should be, because it's the good shit, you know? No. Mm-hmm. I still have Rugrats. I have that Orange too. tape. Me too, I have two of them. My grandmother Pop still has these hers. these nuts. <laughs> I always do. Yeah, well, I got four <laughs> of them. Five of them. Nuts? No, I really do have two nuts of them. Nuts or VHS? <laughs> VHS. Both? <laughs> Well, no, I got three nuts, but I got four VHS. Oh, Correct. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Reason why that doesn't look like 230, because some of those are like two. They're two and one, some of these. Cooper. <clears throat> and like one of them, I got the first three original Pokemon movies on Blu-ray. <laughs> well, that's pretty awesome. And that's just like a, a three-pack. It's the one that's purple, blue, and red there. You can probably see it from where you are, Darian, and that by Toy Story. Purple, blue, and red. Bro, I don't have glasses and I can Not see it. I, I don't know what you're pointing. Far left, far Resident oh, Evil, shelf. Star Wars, Which Toy Story. Shelf? I can see that. You don't see Toy Story, bro. Which white, white and yellow. Oh, okay. 
So, big Toy Story. And which way did you say, left or right? <clears throat> Couple to the right. Ah, see it, yes. Purple, blue, red. See that, yep. I was looking <laughs> at the row below, that's why. I thought no. you were talking about the bottom shelf. No. Yeah, you donkey. It's no longer Dominic the donkey. It's Mikey the donkey. Dude, that's my favorite Christmas song. Yep. Same. Dom- <laughs> Mikey the donkey. I say that to people all oh. the time because they oh. hate when I say that. Oh, Christmas songs, that's your favorite? I'm like, yep. If they didn't get that mad, I wouldn't say it. <laughs> because they do, I say it all the time. I do like the song. It's funny to listen to, but like Alyssa gets so mad when I say that to her. What's your favorite Christmas song? Mm, Don with the Donkey. Out of all Christmas songs. I'm like, yeah, dude, it's fucking <laughs> awesome. I hate Christmas songs, except for that one. And Grandma Got Run Over by a Reindeer. My favorite's definitely Mariah oh. Carey's version. That no. That one's awesome. Absolutely not. And, um... Well, the stats prove it otherwise. Yeah, so. well, fuck that bitch. It's just because um, it gets played over and over and over and exactly. over and over in stores, okay? Yeah, I know. Play I never listen Christmas to Christmas. It's awful. I don't listen to Christmas music, period, so... <laughs> so I never hear it. <laughs> There's another one that I can't think of that I actually <clears throat> enjoy. There's one by, um... I think it's Florida Georgia Line that I like. Uh, what the hell? Like the raking up these lights in laws. Oh, all that yeah. Shit. The, the 12, 12 Hells something. Of Christmas. Hells of Christmas. Yeah, that's my other favorite one. I like that one too. I only like. Yeah, those. That's it. That's it. My dad's sending Christmas cards. Yeah. I always say that to him. My dad, that guy's you. <laughs> <laughs> and we always say my grandfather's is uh, the one that rigging up the lights and he gets all mad towards him. One like, goes out, they all go <laughs> yeah. out. I'm like, that's that. Papa every time. That's him. <laughs> That's like uh, If you're so smart, why don't you do it? <laughs> like National oh, Lampoon's Christmas Vacation. Yep. That's the goat of Christmas movies. Oh, yes, it is. Undoubtedly. And then you get a... Uh, Elf is good, too. What's the other one? I will never forget me being pretty drunk <laughs> the night that me and Howie had the dance-off. Oh, yeah, and his retarded moonwalk. <laughs> but that was the same night that Alyssa goes out into the garage and Elf was on. Yeah. And she just like we just lost Alyssa. She oh, was yeah. just full zone into that the TV. I've never, I have never seen Elf. Can I'm, we just say just that Google happened. has confirmed that Die Hard is a Christmas movie? I'll tell you now. Anyone with an oh. actual brain knows it's a Christmas movie. Mm-hmm. It takes place I'm not lying. at an Bruce office Willis Christmas movie. Die Hard nineteen. It, it takes place at an office Christmas party around Christmas time. Last time I checked, that means it's a Christmas movie. I would say so. Also, one of else is. Iron Man 3 is also a Christmas movie. Correct. A lot of people don't know that. We talked about that on the podcast once, too. Correct. His house is decorated for Christmas with a Christmas tree. <clears throat> Boom, Christmas yep. movie. Do one outline, speaking of Christmas vacation, I use all the time. When at the end of the movie, and Clark's losing his mind about getting that fucking, the stupid bonus. Or what, and it wasn't a bonus, but it was like that yeah. gift card thing or whatever it was. He freaks out. Hallelujah. Holy shit. Where's the towel and all? I say that all the time. <laughs> I'm going to use that. That's my favorite freak out to use all the time. <laughs> I love doing that. Especially when I'm gaming, I'm just screaming in the headset. Oh, holy shit. Ugh, where's the towel and all? I throw my headset. <laughs> that's awesome. I love doing that. That's my favorite that's one. That's a fucking classic. Around Christmas time, always in my side of the family, that's probably the only movie they watch at Christmas time. Oh, yeah. That's the one. Uh, it's one of my favorite. I think I have it. I think I own it. If not, it's next on the list to buy. It'll probably be cheap now because it ain't Christmas. Yeah, literally <laughs> off season. It'll be one dollar now, and I wait a few months to be a thousand dollars. I bought my parents the Funko Pops of Clark and Uncle Eddie. Did you? Yeah, they have those, That's yeah. awesome. And Uncle Eddie's in his robe when he's uh, emptying the shit up. <laughs> <laughs> and then my father has the moose glasses. Does he? Yeah. If you don't buy me that for Christmas, we're not friends. Which one? The Uncle Eddie one. The Funko Pop? Mm-hmm. I beg him. If they still make it, I beg him to find it. If it's available. If not, I'll give you a pass. I'll look right now and I'll tell you because I have no idea. <clears throat> I haven't shot for Pops in so long. The last ones I got were the Steve and Blue from my grandmother <laughs> for a birthday gift. Blue's Clues. Is that the fake Steve or the real one? That's the real Steve. There's only one Steve, you fucker. The other guy was Joe. <laughs> and the I fake don't know. Steve. I, I'm well aware of his name. He's the fake Steve. Imposter. 
<laughs> he was kind of sus. Imposter. Uncle I saw it on TikTok. Uncle Festa? Who the fuck is that? It's not what I said. I saw a TikTok from Steve, actually. Yeah, I follow him on TikTok. He's awesome. Yeah, I do too. Confirming the rumors that he was not in the army. He just left the show. Or the CIA, I think it was CIA. Hey, I'll tell you now, I'll get you this Funko Pop, but you ain't getting anything else this year because he's $70 now. <laughs> Jeez, <laughs> because they don't make them anymore. So you'll get it from me, but you ain't getting anything else. <laughs> I'll take it. We'll make up for not being invited to the ski trip. That is birthday and Christmas. <laughs> when's the f- when the, when's the fuck have you gotten me <coughs> oh anything? Oh, God. <clears throat> God, I'm dying. When's the fuck have you ever gotten me anything? Any Dude, my presence is your present. Fuck you. <laughs> fuck you. <laughs> no, fuck, fuck you. No, fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> fuck you. <laughs> Maybe your presence is a present because you don't show up for three years and when you do it's late. Exactly. Fucking Precisely. Fucking asshole. <laughs> you understand. <laughs> or does he? Fucking Christ, it was supposed it's to be here. three years, I just saw you. Like, what, last week? <coughs> sure, oh, it was really last yeah, week. I'll be there a little past five. Dude, this one's awesome. Oh, that's 100 awesome. bucks, but that's awesome. That awesome. <laughs> I no, I said I'd be there a little later. I don't know. Yeah, I didn't say a little past, you know, I said a little I later. I told you that. I said she'd be here later than five, not at five, like how we usually have. <laughs> be here later than five would be like I didn't even... Six. Dude, come on, look what we're talking about. No shit. I didn't even Just get to the be shop on until five. I had to get my check. Dude, uh, this I had to go awesome home. Too. Shower, <laughs> deal with doggos and whatnot. <laughs> switch laundry and whatnot. And, uh... Take a shit. I did, I took a diesel shit. Diesel shit. Big poopy. Yeah, big poopy. Big poopy. <laughs> <laughs> um, I had that description, diesel shit. <laughs> it was. It was It was one of those Mayday poopies. It was like, you know, you get poobies? close to home. Yeah, poopies. Poopies. Um, well, you had a B in there somewhere. You said poopies. No, I said poopies. poopies. Yeah, the poopy. It's like, Either way, I got I home, know. and you know, like, the, the bowels tend to do the whole, <laughs> we're home. <laughs> oh, yeah, so, yeah, I know. Yeah, <laughs> we're 40 you, minutes. You do the run and No, not even, like, hey, you're 10 seconds away, but yeah. you're two seconds from shit yep. in your pants. <laughs> <laughs> and you're with your fairy dog and turtle head and whatever you want to call it. And you're just like, I need the bathroom. <laughs> as soon as you, you sit down, you're like, wow, I'm done. <laughs> Get out of my <laughs> way! It, it, it just falls. had some velocity behind that thing. It was it's not even velocity. I just sit in a false out because right there. <laughs> oh no, like this thing was. This Fire thing in was the hole. Literally, yeah. It was like a <laughs> grenade went off. I was like, wow, that was awful. <laughs> but it felt great when it was gone, you know? Can confirm the, the rumors, guys. Girls poop. Yeah. This the one definitely does. <laughs> this one for sure does. <laughs> yeah, but I don't really fart, though. I burp, though. Oh, well, we know you burp. <laughs> but I do poop. I yep. poop, like, at least once a day. So I also eat like shit. Bowels. Yeah. Well, yeah, but a lot of a lot of people that I know will poop like every other day, which I think is really weird. I do find that my weird. ass <clears throat> could never. No, my <laughs> ass could never. Dude, I will literally poop in the morning. I actually I pooped this morning and I pooped. Tonight. Wow. Yeah. I, I'm a one, maybe two a day person. Yeah. Maybe two, not always two. It's yeah. weekends I do two because I'm not at work. No. I have pooped about six times. I would say then there's those days where like yeah you go I'm like I don't even know what's going on or don't you hate the ones where like you wipe and it's like there's just a fucking Crayola marker or something (laughs) up your (laughs) boot and you're like can you stop anytime it's like a Crayola (laughs) marker literally you're just sitting there like all right this is gonna be the wipe we're gonna be done and you're just like why are you not fucking clear yet you need the clear wipe before like anything goes back on so so we're gonna talk about an undiscussed topic everybody looks at their toilet paper after you have to you have to absolutely if you I do don't it after you're, I a blow my nose you're a monster too. if you don't i also do it when i blow my nose because like ptsd from like when i was little blew my nose once blood everywhere oh, so you do so that fear now, more than anything yeah now. it's like well it's not even fear because it's kind of like all right here we are again so it's just kind of yeah. like i blow my nose and i'm like all right is that red or clear or green you never know could be a sinus infection i just blow my nose and throw it i don't look at my i blow my nose <coughs> i'm sorry 
There's the headphone, those burps. The, yeah, head, the headphone that. users weren't dead from <laughs> Darian's phone. They're dead from that. <laughs> <laughs> My bad. <laughs> it's all you hear. Everybody listens. Sponsored yeah. by Chinese food and Arbor Mist. Not white pear. By Chinese food. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's what big, that burp was. A big sponsorship. Yeah, that that burp was yeah. just sponsored by You know that. the Chinese food? Yeah, that one. Yeah, we're yes, sponsored the, by I don't know where the fuck you go. <laughs> <laughs> the, the whole Chinese thing. Food. All of it. Yeah, all of it? Mine. <laughs> all of it? Yes. Right, oh, so which one? Yes. <laughs> I have an idea. We're going to buy a Chinese food restaurant and name it the Chinese food. No, sponsored by the, the Chinese, Chinese food. food. <laughs> no, I'm not doing that. No. I'm not feeding people stray cats. I'm not doing that. I still have Marketing to say the juice. best one is in Taiwan. Big Wong. It's <laughs> 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 my favorite Chinese food. <laughs> I do have to say these Rangoons are bomb, though. Yeah, yes. this this place is right around the corner. Uh, Golden Dragon, not far from here. Oh, there's a Golden Dragon in Taiwan, too. Yeah. Yeah, it's literally as soon as you leave here, take a left. There's a set of lights. Take another left. It's right there. Not far from here at all. Thanks for sharing. Yeah, big sad. <laughs> I want more. Bitch. I really wish this bottle was full. Uh, I can look. I think we have wine here if you do want some. <laughs> this one's awesome. Got soon fat. Soon fat. Soon fat. Soon fat. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> Chinese food restaurant. Soon fat. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about the wine. This like, one's also got are you talking fat. about? <laughs> oh my god! I know. <laughs> I'm very well aware. I had Chinese food and wine. I will soon be fat. No, this one's come, <laughs> come den. Come den. Come den. Come now. Come den. <laughs> fat cock. Fat cock. <laughs> <laughs> this one's poop ping. Thai Chinese cuisine. Are these just names, or yeah. are these ones near here? Uh, just names. Oh. Hung, totally hung, fa fa low. One. hung Fa Low. Hung Fa Low is one. <laughs> That's fucking awesome. <laughs> Manho. What the poo? <laughs> Shut the Are you fucking kidding me? No, come over here. You can see. <clears throat> this one, I'm pretty sure, says anal. Excuse me. <laughs> oh, I'm slightly in the way. What the poo? It's what the foe, you idiot. No, poo. Manho. Manho? Yeah, man. Herpes pizza. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe Chinese food instead. <laughs> yeah, see, soon fat. This one, see, pooping. Pooping. <laughs> I like Hong Fa Lo is a good one too. Yes. See, soon fat. I wasn't saying that to her. <laughs> soon fat was the first one. Then come then. Yeah, come then. <laughs> China restaurant. <laughs> Let's see what else we got here. Kung food. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah, it was a regrettable mistake. Yeah, I saw ragoons. Get the <laughs> fuck out of my ragoons! <laughs> hey, hey, hey. Handjob nails and spa. <laughs> That's the best one yet. <laughs> Burger win. <laughs> what? Sh Shat in Chinese food. <laughs> Stop it. That's so bad. Hey, hey, no. <laughs> Come and eat. <laughs> Look how they spell Salt, huh? pepper, and paprika? <clears throat> of course I do. That's fucking amazing. Dude, it's only 15 bucks on Amazon. Go buy it. I love it. That's just what normal fucking people have in their house. What do you mean? <laughs> what? This, a Jackie Chen? <laughs> okay, this poo -poo UFO. Hot pot. <laughs> Obama. Poo poo hot pot. <laughs> that was you and them a minute ago. <laughs> oh, no. Fucking Chinese but, but... food. <laughs> fucking Chinese <laughs> food. <laughs> Hey, Get away from my goons! Butt sweets. Butt sweets. <laughs> Krabby dicks, Delaware. What the fuck? Chewy balls, definitely not going there. Pooping cuisine. <laughs> Restaurant bar corn. <laughs> oh no, that's a terrible store. KKK store. <laughs> okay, Chinese food. That'll be ours. Okay, Chinese food. <laughs> Excuse me, I have to go get this scavenger away from my fucking ragoons. No, hold on. This store is called Toss My Salad. Jesus. <laughs> Children. Fine. Children, come here. Yep. 
Yes, Dad. We got one more restaurant, one more store. I got a name off because I've actually seen it. It's in Massachusetts. It's called Poopsies. Poopsies? Yeah, Poopsies. Tongue tied. <laughs> no, not that one. Dara. That one's spelt right, at least. I'm not going to say that one on the internet. I'm not either, but that's awesome. <laughs> Fuck Ty. We're not saying it. Can I say it? No. no. <laughs> you can read it. Quietly to yourself. This one, Toss My Salad. I like that one. And the one that's in Massachusetts called Poopsies, but no, that one we're not saying. Oh, yeah, no. <laughs> no, no, we're not saying that one. Yeah. Cancel. <laughs> The, yo, you need this, the golden stool. Yes. <laughs> Don't worry about it. I just did. It's all fixed. You're good. All right, so we can delete the last ten minutes now because of you. Why? I was reading funny stuff. No, <laughs> oh, I'm saying it's because of that. Oh, in the last five seconds. Good news. Annoying ASMR. Well, I think we're way, yeah, we're way over time now. <laughs> but... That was fun. Take one, please. What are you eating styrofoam for? Fortune cookies? Because they're fortune cookies. Brother! (laughs) Brother! (laughs) Hey, Hulk Hogan, relax. (laughs) Brother. What was that the first thing that came out of my mouth? Fucking Hulk Hogan over here. (laughs) Brother! Fucking hey, I didn't know Hulk Hogan was at my house. I'm gonna be to rip your shirt off. <coughs> fucking that. It's no longer Hulk Hogan, it's Hunk Hogan. <laughs> You're Todd Hogan. <laughs> fucking guy. <laughs> she get something thrown at him, she goes, brother. <laughs> that was like every Hulk Hogan promo in the 90s. <laughs> That's what that was. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I'm ending that. That's the first thing that came out. I'm ending that on you freaking out, going, brother. That that's the official end 